and welcome back to the dumbest modeling channel on all of YouTube, Pitstain Hobbies. I'm your host, Ensign Ian here, and we're back on the Enterprise D from Fan Home. Lovely, lovely, sweet Enterprise D. I grew up watching this thing as a kid, just like a lot of you did, and it's a beautiful ship. It's a massive part work with the most wires I've ever seen in my entire life, and I think potentially the most wires of any part work in existence on the planet, Earth at least. Um, either way, um, uh, red shirts, yellow shirts, blue shirts, you're all welcome here. And uh, we're back on uh, starting at about uh, stage 22 and a half-ish. Um, we got a required stuff here. So we figured out our required tools are black electrical tape, aluminum foil tape, and uh, some sort of crystal clear tape, packing tape, scotch tape, what have you. Um, cutting mat, obviously, to work on sharp hobby knife, your flathead screwdriver. I have a power supply here running at 4.5 volts, just so I don't have to use the little battery pack doohickey. And we have one of our spare PCBs here for testing circuits. Um, we're up to like step D on stage 22. We've got this all assembled. We've got the circuit board in place. All right, it's, it's looking nice. If you notice the recording settings a little different, I've been tweaking to try to make the videos look a little bit better for everybody. And uh, let's see, so we've got that going on. Now the wiring, the wiring on this kit, so many wires. I mean, they're just coming out of your ears. So right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in this cool circuit, which has this little, uh, this little electronical do dead on that, and that makes these, these lights flash. Now these are clear LEDs. I, I just colored them with a, with a Sharpie marker. Because um, one side's red, one side's green, I figure why not give them some help. This is for the, the uh, Photon Burrito Launcher. <laughs> All my buddies will get that joke. But yeah, for the Photon Launcher. Uh, so I colored that. I actually dipped this in uh, some red clear Tamiya paint um, just to make it a little more red. Um, so yeah, that's where we go with that. Uh, we've got our, our three lights here. We're going to plug them into the PCB into this port right here, this first one. Okay. So we're going to go right in there. And now is when the mental and physical gymnastics begin of routing these wires. Now, required reading. Oh, the most important tool I didn't mention. None of the things on this workbench, actually the computer require, it requires a computer. MyEnterpriseD.com. Uh, the link will be down below, right below the link to the fan home kits. You can go check those out. That is my buddy Todd's website. He has been building this thing forever. Um, he's been building Partworks forever. He's been making this website forever. If you're not familiar with mypartworks.com, then you've been living under a rock. But check out myenterpriseD.com if you're building this. It will give you such amazing pictorial advice on wire routing. I could try to show you whatever I show you on camera. I'm never going to come close to what he can show you on his website of how to fiddle all the little wires between all the little metal bits of frame so they don't get pinched and you know where to put some tape here and there for light blocking um fantastic website <clears throat> best on the planet only one on the planet i'm aware of but the best uh, by default i suppose so now we got to take these lights and the first step will be now one is red and one is green and i i put little paint marks see a little tiny just a little paint mark of green and red so we know where we want our lights to end up. So we're going to put these right through here. Of course the air compressor has to kick in. I'm going to put these through here. And then they're going to go like this. And then one's going to go over and then under, and then back over and out. Okay, so over, under, and then out, like that. And we're just gonna we're just gonna yank those out of there and just leave those flapping in the breeze for now. Um, <clears throat> we can, you know, bend them over here. But if you can see, there's like little notches in the frame. And there's a little divot, see, that little divot there. That's where, see, the important thing here is to route those wires because this thing will not fit down properly onto here if you don't route the wires correctly. 
So give me one second. I'll be right back. I got to stage some more wiring. Okay, back to the intimidating part. So all those LEDs that we spent so much time fiddling at the place, we're going to pull out these two right here. So they're out. And then these two at the top that we bent super, super extremely to get in there. We took those two out also. And now what we're going to do, and this is, we're going to flip this guy this way. Okay. And we're going to take our impulse drive wire and it's going to go through this first hole right here, through this part of the frame. We're going to pull it through there. And then I'm just going along with Todd's website. Okay, so the My Enterprise D website wants you to put this wire right for this window through here. Okay, <clears throat> and then it wants this wire for this window through this second hole at the bottom here. And then that's all good. And then these two, okay, for these upper window sections on the neck, we're going to put one of them through here and one of them through here. Oh, this is getting complicated. That's the, that's the name of the game of this ship. Um, then you run the loose LEDs of the rear window light cables back through this opening on the skeleton. Uh, okay, so that one, and then we're going to take the loose cable, and they're going to come up through one, two, through the third one up from the bottom. That's the loose cable for this window, and then the loose cable for this window is going to then come up through that third opening in the frame. This is all getting a bit fiddly. And then these two cables are then going to go through this opening right here. And we could peel those apart and then through this opening right here. Oh my Lord. Wait a second. Do I have this oriented incorrectly? Yeah, no, that's fine. And then Then we got to put these wires. Oh my God. I'm going to get this put together real quick and try to show you, but trust me, use the website. Todd was like, Oh, show people how to do it on the video. And I, it, this is just too, I've got to have to concentrate. So the video is just going to be 90 minutes long. If I do this step by step, um, but you get the idea, go to the website. It's very specific. Be right back. Okay, here we go. Um, so, if you can see, it really, it's a jumble. But basically, the impulse engine comes through this hole. These, this window comes through this hole. Half goes back through that one, back into that top part of that window. Then this window comes through this hole. And then the yellow half um, goes back through this hole right here, back into the top of that window. Then this upper comes through this hole, and then the yellow goes under here and back into that window. Same thing on the other side. It comes through this, this window comes through here, and then the yellow goes under here and then out and then back into the top of that window. That is the um, Todd approved wire routing. We then need to bend these leads out of the way. Okay. We pull those out of the way to clear the center rib here. This is this is very specific. And then we're supposed to be able to um, 
And then meanwhile, we got to keep, you know, these, these navigational lights kind of out of the way. And then we get to sandwich everything together. So I'm going to go ahead and work on sandwiching it now. And once I have a neck sandwich ready, I'll be right back. Whoo boy. This is intimidating. This is making me sweat, but we could do this. We got, we got, we got the tools. We've got the talent. It's all on Todd's website. It's all the talent is right there. I'm just following along with the pictures like a trained circus monkey. Be right back. My God, we did it. Okay. Now make sure you keep these wires right there. Okay. Right like that. Same thing on this side. We can pull the slack back in. You see how those all go around the rib. Those go around the rib. These come around this rib. It's, yeah, it took Todd a while to figure that out, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, and we tested everything and everything lights up. But we're going to screw this together first. And then we're going to light test again and make sure everything... Oh boy, make sure everything lights up. So let me get a few screws into this and we'll be right back. Okay, well, we've got our three uh, CP screws. One, two, and trace in there. And... Uh, Oh man, it all, it all just worked. This thing fit down very well. Uh, there's always going to be a tiny, tiny bit of a gap. I don't know if you can notice that. There's going to be a little bit of a gapage right there. There's really nothing you can do about it. It's just, that's, that's just what it is. You're not going to see it though. Once the saucer is attached to the neck, you're not going to notice it. Um, if you really wanted to, you know, you could try to like, you know, flex the whole thing down a bit but even then i i don't think you're ever going to get rid of it entirely uh but more stuff is going to bolt onto this so it'll pull it down a little bit more but uh that's that's pretty much it's pretty much all she wrote for for the gapage right there it's okay though it's fine let's uh let's turn on our power make sure our leads aren't crossed boom windows all light up blinkies are blinking Impulse engines are lit. They're a little hard to see on camera. And there we go. And there's our little uh, our little uh, photon burrito light is going on there. So there we are. Oh, my gosh. I have one of the dogs down here with me. She's chewing on a bully stick. Now, if the people don't have dogs, you don't know what a bully stick is. A bully stick is a dried bull pizzle. There you go. I'm saying an anatomy word. You could you could kind of figure it out from there. It doesn't smell very good. Then on top of that, little girl, she's floating air biscuits out the rear end while she's chewing on this bull pizzle in the front end, and it's just a cacophony of disgusting odors happening right now. It's ridiculous. Either way, sorry. Moving along. Um, okay, we've got we've we've got it done. Oh, thank God. We've plugged all our lights in. That's looking good. Um, yep, that's all good. I mean. It doesn't really matter where you plug them in. As long as they're all marked A, you're fine for those. Um, and the batteries, we're not using the stock battery pack now. We're optimizing for a singular USB power outlet. Uh, so that's that. Stage 23. Now we're properly in to um, issue 7. Uh, this is stage 23. So there we go. Let me get those parts and I'll be right back. Oakley dokely then we're back here. <clears throat> We've got our panel here from stage 23. Got all our escape hatches in and our black windows in. And we have taped them up in the back with electrical tape. And we got six BM screws ready to go and our three in one oil. And we're gonna bring over the saucer section. She's a lovely little thing. Um, it, it doesn't matter what you light block with. I, here I have a strip of black electrical tape. Here I have a strip of whatever uh electrical tape um and then yes and then no and then we're gonna flip this over okay now we've got to put my god all the freaking wires everywhere um these the wire routing here is very specific so just get these wires out of here. This one, I don't know what the hell this thing's doing. This one, okay, we've got two, we've got two spare lights here. Okay. So basically, um, we're gonna put 
this one through here and this one through here. And we'll show you right here. Move our magnifiers out of the way. We're... Counter space is getting precious with this big enterprise. And we're gonna put one light there. And we're gonna put one light, yeah. Okay, they're, they're holding in there pretty well on their own. And then we're just gonna plant this down. Now, I'm a little worried about light leakage right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we don't need any right there. You might need a little here. So I'm gonna grab something and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back and uh, we've got our panel here. There we go, like we said, right there. A little electrical tape, little black windows. Now, we've got some light blocking here and here already with some aluminum tape and black electrical tape. It doesn't matter, you could use whatever you want. Now, for this seam right here, my buddy Todd told me to get some of this. Okay, so this is basically like blue tack. Everyone's familiar with blue tack, you know, tacky putty. It's it's fantastic for a lot of things, but this is pretty much it's it well, it's gray. So what you do is take a little strip and you just kind of stretch her out and roll her. You could roll it on the table under your finger, roll out a tiny little thin bead and put it right in uh yeah, you, you can see that right there. So you just take that tiny little bead and put that in there and then lay, lay your panel down. Okay. If any oozes out, it can be just wiped off with your finger. Okay. And if there's any more, we could always just, oh, the dog just farted under my work surface. Just your fingernail and you can scrape it out of there and you're not going to see it. And now what we need to do is flip her over very carefully. Our LEDs are in there still and uh, we're going to need to uh, put, oh my god, okay, these magnifiers got to go. You're in the way. You little frame guys, go over there. Oh, why do I always have an alarm or something going off of my phone? I'm such a disaster. And then we need uh, six of these BM screws and a little little three-in-one oil here. And uh, we're gonna put put one here. Nice and tight. I'm gonna get. Five more in, and we'll be right back. Okay, well, that's done. <clears throat> that's uh, stage 23 complete. Uh, we plugged all our lights in and tested them. They all lit up, and there were no light leaks. So um, that, thank you, Todd. That that tip for this uh, this black version of Blue Tech was, uh, was quite good. Uh, stage 24, what do we get? Uh, yeah, we're getting another uh, another hole panel, and uh, one of the one of these two neck pieces is going to go in. So I'm going to dig into these instructions, and we'll be right back. Okay, well we've got our piece of neck frame in, uh, three BM and one FM screw, and uh, she's in. No fuss, no muss. Just make sure your wires. So this black and yellow wire that goes to the top of that window, you want to get that under the skeleton right there, and then make sure you don't pinch any wires under that skeleton. Everything else should stay inside of the skeleton as it's going to this uh, circuit board in the front. So that's that. And next thing is the panel for 24. It's already built because we dismantled a previously started kit. We'll get to new parts packs fairly soon, I guess. I'm not quite sure. I think we're going to be somewhere up into the mid thirties before we start unpacking parts from a brand new pack. So unfortunately this isn't like the most perfect, uh, tutorial build, but I'm going to take this apart, put it back together, make sure everything's done kosher, uh, to my liking 
and all that stuff. And we'll be right back. Okay. <clears throat> well, we've got all our windows and our escape hatches in, and we have just some black electrical tape and some clear packing tape holding those in so they don't shake out. And uh, we're going to get our uh, light panels put back in with our LEDs. And uh, the yellow one is going <clears> to <throat> go right here. Okay. And this red one stays loose. And then we'll get a four screws in here. And then the red one is going to go under. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Right there. And this yellow one, uh, what is that? It's not bare wire, is it? I'm going to take a look at that. If I need to, I'll replace that. Uh, I have plenty of spares because I bought two starter kits. I'll be right back. All right. Well, we're ready to mount this panel. <clears throat> We've got the red and gray wire going through this hole, and we've got the four color wire going through this hole. And I put a little bit of aluminum tape under there. And now we've got these three tabs, and we push her down into place. <clears throat> and we're going to flip her over. And we've got aluminum in the way. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do. <clears throat> oh, hold on. Let me zoom out. We've got some aluminum in the way right here. So we're going to, we're going to slice that out of there. You can't really have anything in the way of the screws. So we're going to slice that away on the back side, and then we'll pull our part back out. It, it, it. There we go. And we'll get our, our tape back into place underneath. And then we will surgically, for son of a, all right. God's sake. All right. Well, let's see here. We're just going to have to play with this a little bit. I just want to get a little bit of tape under this joint up to the tab. There we go. And, of course, there's more text messages coming in. And you can kind of press the aluminum in from behind with the back of your hobby blade and uh, we can, there we go. Okay. Uh, pretty much F it. All right, we're, we're going, we're sending her home. And these parts are a, there we go, fairly snug fit sometimes. And then flip her over from behind, and we're going to send her home. Whoo, boy, um, with a couple BM screws. All right, we'll be right back. All right, it's in. Lovely. It's in. It laid down beautifully and we've got our foil tape in the back there and we can burnish it down a little bit uh, these things are handy these little cuticle pushers from Amazon you get a whole big heaping giant bag of them for not much money and they're good for burnishing down things they're good for decals they're good for the plastic ends plastic pokey bits good for stuff but yeah they have a lot of uses 
and it's very good for burnishing down your aluminium tape. My video quality is totally different now. I'm uh, filming at uh, 60 frames per second as opposed to 30. Um, I have the capability, I just didn't know it. You know, I'm still learning OBS, just like I'm learning how to not be a complete moron and only a partial moron. This thing's starting to look really, really sweet. Look at that. Oh, it's the Enterprise D. Well, part of it. Uh, back to Utopia Planitia. We've got that panel in stage 24 is done. So now we're going to get on to 25. And that is a uh, this neck panel and another piece of the saucer. We'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> so here we go. Um, look, they put light blocking on the panel, but they didn't really, really go for it with the light blocking. Um, but we do have an LED that's going in here. Um, so I'll probably light block this after the fact. Either way, this, uh, this wire has to go underneath this first hole here. And then she'll go into place. And then we will attach it with a DP screw from the back, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we got the panel in. We shoved this LED in right here. It just kind of clicked into place, and then one more DP screw right there. So the DP screw here, and the DP screw here. The LED's in. We've tested the bulbs. And that is yet another panel of lovely cabin lights and escape pods installed in the saucer of our Enterprise D. And uh, let's see. Um, we want to bend down these leads here. There we go. Get them out of the way. Bend them down. Perfect. We've light less uh, light tested. Da 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 da. Okay, so now we're going to get this other bit of frame in on the neck. Let's get this out of here. And let's get the neck back into action here, and we are going to need to do some wire management and mount our uh, photon burrito launcher light. Again, join the Discord. Join the inside joke of the photon burrito. <laughs> oh yeah, load the tortilla tubes. We're firing a photon <laughs> photon burrito. Uh let me let me get into here and yeah. Basically, okay, well, you know, without without wasting all your time, basically everything should be going inside of here in this neck and the only thing we really have to concern ourselves with is sandwiching this LED right there. That's what lights up the uh, forward photon burrito launcher. Um, oh, well, we don't want to. Oh, no. We've pulled out our little green uh, nav light. That we want to keep going through there. Just like that. And yeah, so the rest of these, basically everything is going to come down into the bottom. Okay, down low, down low. And uh, we're going to put that in there. Well, not our power leads. Uh, let me see here. Okay. So the yellow and black wire, that one's going to go around that side and then under. There we go. Okay. And the photon burrito launcher. This is actually a little bit tricky to get it sandwiched in there, but there you go. She's sandwiched. Okay, she's sandwiched. 
We have a sandwich. Mission control, we have sandwich. And then we've pinched that wire in there. See? You got to just make sure nothing's pinched. And we're going to put a few screws in this, and we'll be right back. Oh, boy. Woo! Spicy. This one's spicy photon burrito. But we'll be right back. Okay, and our skeleton is screwed together, and our photon burrito launcher is lit up. And our little nav lights are blinking away like there's no tomorrow, which, well, technically they shouldn't be blinking. But I did a test before, and I removed the PCB. Not only did I remove the PCB, I replaced the lights with actual red and green LEDs, even though they're clear lensed. And uh, not only did only one of them light up, uh, the Photon Burrito Launcher didn't light up anymore. So I don't know what's going on with whatever they did with this circuit, but uh, it's not kindergarten rewiring, so uh, I'm just going to give up. I'll just let these damn things blink. I don't care. At least they'll be... You know, it's nice to have something blinking on an Enterprise, I suppose, even if it's not really TV or movie accurate. Um, you know, we've got... Whatever. Blinking. It's fine. It's fun. You know what? I've learned to uh, not make do. Uh, uh, compromise. That's it. Compromise. I mean, marriage, you know, life with a wife, with things, with her own thoughts and your own. Th it's all a compromise. Either way, um, that's stage 25 done. Uh, stage 26 is some more, <laughs> some more hull plating. We'll be back. All right. All our pa <coughs> panels assembled. Uh, we just used a little Sharpie marker here and a couple of the windows. And we're going to throw this wire in right through here. Okay. And that extra LED is going to go in right through there. Okay. And this LED we're going to bend down as far as we can and just... Place her down there. And once we get her down there, we're going to get a DP screw in from the bottom. We'll be right back. Okay, we've got the panel, and now we're going to take this free LED, and we're going to put it down here through this panel, and then back up through here, and then we're going to slide her into there, okay, and bend it down like that around that panel, okay, and then take another DP screw, and we're going to put that right here. And just tight. And, uh, oh, look at that. More panels. We test lit it, and it did work. And uh, we do need to do a little bit of light blocking here, but we could sneak that in afterwards. So 23, 24, 25, 26. So basic, so yeah, issue seven is done. Here's what we got here. We got this much saucer done. We've got this many bajillion wires in the bottom of it. And uh, our neck is, I already put that away. But yeah, there we go. This, ah, oh, this thing's looking, it's pretty sweet. I mean, you got the panel lines because of the whole plates and some of them are a little wider than others. And it's kind of just a thing with this model. And as long as we light block things well, you know, the, the two foot, six foot or 10 foot or whatever the rule is, uh, for model kits, it's going to look utterly amazing when it's done and, uh, just keep plugging away. So that was issue seven. I hope you did not hear me just toot from the rear door. Oh God. Well, it's the dumbest modeling channel on YouTube. It might as well be the smelliest. We have already explained the dog odors we deal with down here, but thank you for coming. Uh, Please, next star, warp nine, engage. See you later, everybody.